So we have an infinite series of odd integers. So we have a, b, c, d, and e. Um, consecutive members in the sequence, what is the mean of the five numbers? Now since they're consecutive, um, whether they're odd, even, or consecutive, even, and odd, um, if you have an odd number of numbers, the mean is always the middle number in the set because while d is two more, b is two less, the average is still c, e is four more, um, a is four less, again the average is still c. So the question is, what is c? So uh, answer choice or statement one tells us that b, c, and e are all prime numbers. So these we have to have two prime numbers in a row, skipping an odd number and then another prime number. So for example, they could uh, be 11, uh, 13, and 17 with 15 in the middle. Unfortunately, they could also be 41, um, 43, 45, and 47. And uh, since there's more than one choice here, C could, and this this pattern repeats again. So since we have more than one choice for for C, this is a value question. We need a single value. Statement one is insufficient. We get rid of A and D. Statement two tells us that A plus D equals 24, which seems like it wouldn't be enough. But um, if we take C as kind of the control, <laughs> the control group, um, and uh, then D will be C plus two because it's an odd number two higher. Um, and then a will be c minus 4 because b will be c minus 2, it's 2 less. We know then that a, which is c minus 4, plus c plus 2 equals 24, and 2c equals 26, and c equals 13. So statement 2 is sufficient, tells us actually that this first string of numbers was the correct one, and statement 2 alone is it, answer choice b.